Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for our Tuesday card in this week's tarot story. We have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So pentacles are connected to the physical realm. They're about what happens in the incarnate world where we can see and touch and taste and smell. And they're about physical vitality, your body feeling alive and happy, or producing wealth and abundance in money and other activities. And the number seven is connected to choosing. It's discernment or making very good choices for your life. So when this card shows up upright, it's about looking at something you've been investing in, you've been manifesting and creating, and it's taking a moment to ponder whether it's turning out the way you want it to turn out. So this man has is next to a bush. He's been tending this bush. It's looking really beautiful, but he's pausing for a moment as though he's thinking about it. Like, is this really what I wanted? Or maybe do I need to start changing something a bit? Do I need to refocus my energy? Now, this card came to us reversed. So that suggests to me that we actually do need to seriously consider refocusing our energy. We've been investing in something and we had a vision for it, but somehow we can tell right now that vision is not really producing what we thought. It's not um, resulting in the harvest that we want. And we have to decide now whether we're going to listen to that and change direction or whether we're going to be kind of stubborn and stay in the path anyway. Yesterday's card was the Wheel of Fortune reversed, which often feels like bad luck. It's like the universe is pushing against you. But I suggested when we feel that way, as though things are not opening up for us the way we, we want, we can receive that as a message. The universe is trying to help us see where we're misaligned so that we can hear that message and make the corrections. So today's card feels very much the same message. Whatever you've been investing in, if it looks like it's not turning out the way you want, pay attention to that. You do not have to continue to invest in something just because you've already invested in it for a while. Um, if, if it doesn't seem like it's working out the way you want, it's okay to let a project die or let it change quite a lot if you need to in order to ensure that you're in alignment with your own wisdom. Consider that today. Don't let your pride take over. Let your intuition guide you in what you do next. See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye.